Thank you, Leak, and I'm from a Finnish company, CSC, and uh, we have put up a stack catalog with Finnish data. And the starting point was that data was available already, but it was in many places and it was difficult to find. So basically in this project, we were only concerned about putting up the stack. And I put out also here the time that things have taken because it took a little bit longer than we thought in the beginning. So in total, we're talking about one and a half years. And we currently have only raster data, but of course we have also LiDAR and vector data, so thinking about that. And all data is open to everybody, and we have used only Phosphor-G. And if anybody is actually interested in the service, then there is a link. Uh, the first question we had, because there is actually several options to choose when you want to put up a stack API, then we spent quite some time in selecting what we, which software to use because we had very clear that we are not going to make another one. And we ended up with Gear Server with Open Search for AO Community Module, and it has PostGIS as the backend. And for us, the main reason maybe to choose this uh, combination was that we had both in use already, so we didn't get really new dependencies. And that's kind of nice. And also we were like familiar with both Geo Server and PostGIS, so also the learning curve was quite easy there. And one thing that I especially liked was that both database and the templates were super easy to modify. So if we wanted to add some field or something, then that was very, very easy. And it also had an API for making data updates because some of the data sets are updating daily. So that was also important thing that to keep it up to, to date in the future. And uh, one thing that we have, that is our internal thing, that we have scripts for making your server statistics, so now we could get also stack statistics out. Uh, what we did not like that much was that uh, there is no tool to ingest such static stat stack catalogs to your server. We have kind of written it now ourselves, but it's not yet good, but maybe someday we could have something for that to, to provide for others. And then one problem for, again, for us was that we don't have Java coders in-house, so whenever there is a problem, then now we have a solution for that, that we can talk to Kiosk Solutions. And in some cases, it um, would be nicer for us if, if the JSON would be default format. Now it's HTML. Um, I think I skipped on the previous slide that our main use case are data analysts from Academy who want to actually use the data from Python and R, so that the HTML doesn't make any sense. At the moment, we are talking about 100 collections with 350 items, and this has been the main work to get the metadata to the database. It's over 12 months, I would say. Uh, of course, there are nice Python libraries that we have been using, but just to get everything right, it takes surprisingly a lot of time. Uh, we have put our scripts out, but they are very data specific, so I don't know if they are for any help for anybody else. Uh, one very nice thing was Stack Browser. Here we didn't do anything, we just linked our, our stack and it it was there, and this is actually, the, when there is new users, this is the page where I refer that go there, check what it is available. Um, and then we have statistics, I thought this might be interesting. So it's mostly Python users, a few R and FME users, but I guess this is quite expected because I personally also like the Python tools a lot more. And then we have also written example scripts, both for Python and R, the Python one is quite advanced with task and parallelization in the background because as a company we have a lot of computing resources that we provide for Finnish researchers, so this was basically the, what the end users are interested in. And then as the last thing, we have uh, tested to run this Python thing in parallel and it kind of evened out after five parallel uh, processes, so if anybody has any good hints how to make this curve go longer, then I'm very interested. Yes, that was all.